When I was growing up, my mother told me that there was, <laughs> she said this, there's only one problem with life. One, only one. What's that, mother? She said, no background music. <laughs> I said, what are you talking about? She said, everything would be better if our lives were like the movies and the score came in at the right time to tell us how to feel, everything would be... I said, I don't get it. What are you talking about? She said, well, like when your dad proposed to me. He'd come home from his mission and the war. We'd only, we met on a blind date. Eight weeks later, he does this 20-minute monologue about, uh, Marty, uh, I, I think there's something more than just friendship going on. He went on for 20 minutes. He was proposing. I had no idea what he was talking about. <laughs> But if there had been music, Martha, I know we've only been together a few short weeks, and I think, Marty, there's more than just friendship. Oh, my love, I think this could be love. She said, but where was the music when I needed it? And she said it would have helped me enormously if, if there had been music when we were raising you. For example, Michael, clean your room. Or, or, Michael, you cleaned your room. If, <laughs> if there was just music, everything would be, she was convinced it would be better. And so... I sort of became a songwriter, I think, to fill in the gaps about how music can be the background of our lives and kind of, kind of tell us stuff. Well, I am going to tell a story tonight using some of the songs that I have written. And it is, um, as it turned out great, but I'm going to tell you the truth about what it took to go from where it started to where it ended and the hell that was kind of in between.